Hello. Uh, it's the Talking Funny Halloween Show. And uh, there's a scary sort of elevation to the sitting position. So, uh, as you can see, Sasha and the noob are not here tonight. Uh, they are elsewhere this evening. Uh, but we're still taking your calls. My name is Paul, and uh, we are still talking funny. So you can give us a call all night tonight, uh, 312-738-1060. We'll be taking your calls. Um, talking funny, I should say this because we never say this on this show, but it's a production of the Playground Theater. Uh, the Playground Theater is a not-for-profit improv comedy co-op at Belmont and Halstead. A lot of great shows happen there, including Don't Spit the Water with your hosts, Sasha and the Noob. And uh, you can go to the website, www the-playground.com and check out all the information about all the great shows that, that we have there. So I, ne I need to say that because I, I want to plug uh, the Playground Theater uh, as a non-for-profit. we got a great show tonight, even though it's just just me. We're going to be doing a lot of great things. We'll be answering your phone calls, 312-738-1060. Um, we've got some scary ghost stories by Michael Ondaatje. We've got the book Anil's Ghost, so we'll be reading from some ghost stories pretty soon. Um, we've also, uh, we, I want you to call in tonight and tell me your scariest story, your scariest story that you've ever had happen to you. We have a call. Hey, caller, how's it going? Hi. Welcome to Talking Funny. Game? Say what? Any game. Can I play any game? Yes, you can. Tell me your scariest, scary story. A scary, scary story. That, that has ever okay, happened to you. Uh, there were these three little boys who were walking through the woods, and then out popped a giant face with a peanut butter body who stole the phone. Hello, how are you doing? Did you say a giant face? Yes, yes he did. Uh, and this is someone else who is transferring the story over you know, to, to tell or something. <laughs> Okay, so they were walking in the forest and his face ate them. And then an octopus came out. And then he was playing bass. And he was playing piano. And he was playing drums. And he was playing pizza. And then the pizza came out. And he was on a horse. And then the horse came out. And then the horse jumped off a bed. And then the horse went into a cold vending machine. Oh my god! Ah. That was weird. But scary. That was pretty scary. That was a good scary story. Call in. Call your, and tell me your scariest, scariest story. 312-738-1060. We have a caller. Caller, go ahead. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing tonight? All What's I your name? My uh, Frank. Frank, how you doing? I'm Paul. How you doing, Paul? I'm pretty good. Do you have a scary story to tell us tonight? Pretty scary, I think. Let me hear that scary story. Uh, I'm laying in bed one night. It's dark. And uh, I hear my roommate just start screaming like, like someone's murdering him. So I jump out of bed at 3 in the morning, you know. The dog jumps up. We run into the living room. I see him. I turn on the light. There's a black man ramming him in the ass. Okay. Um, we have a guest tonight, a special guest. Um, he is a cyborg version of myself, and we will be meeting him later on in the show. It's just a cyborg me. A computer generated myself and we will see him later in the show and he will come on and discuss questions of comedy uh, on talking funny so we have a uh, another game besides the scary story game and we heard two pretty scary but mostly weird stories already um, so call in with your scariest scariest stories and uh, besides that we're having the gross food game, like we always do on Talking Funny, and tonight the gross food is a Reese's cup. Now that might not seem real gross, but I'm allergic to peanut butter, and so if you can call in and make the sound that's closest to the sound a zombie makes when it eats your brain, I will eat this Reese's cup and I will probably swell up, and that is pretty gross. So in a sense, it is a gross food, a, a gross food event. So call in and uh, make me eat this Reese's cup and have a reaction. Caller, uh, you're on the air here with Talking Funny. Yeah, I got a scary story, but I can only tell you part one. I'll tell you part two a year from today. One year from one today? One year from today, but here's part one. Okay. You know, years ago, 
bunch of us went out to a place called Bachelor's Grove. Bachelor's or, Grove? Bachelor's Grove, yeah. We were all drinking. We ran out of ran out of beers. So we decided, you know, we'd take a ride and get some. But this couple that we knew, you know, they were kind of young lovers. They decided to stay behind. So we got in the, you know, we said that's up to them if they wanted to stay there by themselves. So we got in the car and left. I'll tell you the rest of the year. That was pretty scary. Tune in here next year, callers, to hear the end of that scary story. So far, we have our heroes riding in a car to get some more beer. And something scary happens next year. Okay, so give us a call with your scariest scary stories, 312-738-1060. Or if you want to tell us a joke, or if you want to talk about Chicago comedy, the essence of talking funny, give us a call here. And in the meantime, we have a caller. We have a caller. Hello, caller. You're on Talking Funny with Paul. What's your name? Hello, I am Alan. My name is Alan. Aaron? Alan. Alan. Yes. How's it going, Alan? I am, I am great. I am great. Do you great? How are you? Do you have yes. somebody with you, Alan? Uh, yes. She is, uh, she is a woman on the train. But a I woman on the train? I have a story to tell you, sir. It is very important, okay? Are you going to tell me the rest of it in a year? No. I'm going to tell you now. The whole it thing is, now? It is a... Alan, are you going to tell me the whole thing now? Uh, it, is, it is a short story, okay? A okay. short story? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so uh, I was at Costco, and you know... That was a pretty short story, Alan. That was that was a really, really short story. So, thanks for that. It wasn't that scary. It was just mainly short. But I guess you prefaced it by saying it was a short story. So, So, job well done, Alan. Job well done. That was good. Okay. Give us your calls, 312-738-1060. I think we have a call. Do we have a call? Caller, you're on the air. How are you doing tonight? I'm good. How are you? I'm, I'm doing pretty good. What's your name? Uh, my name's Jim. Uh, hey, Jim, do you have a scary man. story for us? I was a black man earlier. You were a black man earlier, and now did you change? He did, We don't know. He didn't. He was black, but he maybe something happened and he changed. I don't know. 312-738-1060. We're taking your calls. Caller, go ahead. You're on the air here at Talking Funny. Hi, uh, how are you? Hi. Uh, how are you? <laughs> Yo, call me like crazy, but I got a joke for you. All right. <laughs> what's, what's your joke, caller? Okay. It Is it a scary joke? joke? No. Is it a Halloween-based joke? Uh, it's a funny joke. A funny joke. Okay, this show is called Talking Funny. Go ahead. Okay. It's better than the last one. Yeah, the yeah. last one. Did you hear that really short joke? No. Did you hear the one when I'll call you back in a year? Yes. Okay, was this teacher? She asked that students was the first party party that goes to heaven. Did you say a teacher? Yes. Okay. So what did the kids say? I know. So she says, what is it? So the kid says, the feet. She said, what will make you say something like that? He was like, because what? Because what? What color? Call me back in a year. Or later tonight and finish that joke. I don't get it. I don't. I don't. I don't get that. That joke. Um, okay, we're gonna take a minute and read from *A Neil's Ghost* by Michael Ondaatje, and we're gonna read some scary ghost stories. So brace yourselves. This is a scary ghost story. In 1911, prehistoric remains were discovered in the Banda Arwela region, and hundreds of caves and rock shelters began to be explored. Remains of cranial and dental fragments were found, as old as any in India. It was here within a government-protected archaeological preserve that skeletons had once again been found, outside of one of the Bandar Awela caves. During the first few days there, Sarath and Anil recorded and removed ancient debris, freshwater and arboreal gastropods. Bone, you know, this is not really a ghost story. It's more about archaeological digging, and I, I guess I was kind of thrown by the... It says Anil's ghost, and I, I thought it was a ghost story. So, I'm sorry. I, I mean, it mentioned skeletons, and, and um, that's pretty scary in dental records. I'm sorry about that. Uh, do we have a caller? Go ahead, caller. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was awesome. Come, caller, call back and do that again. I, I didn't, that was scary. 
Go ahead, caller. You're on the air. Can I finish my joke now? No. Go ahead, caller. You're on the air. Hey, didn't Michael and Doc J also write The English Patient? He did write The English Patient. That's what I thought. Hey, I've got a pretty scary joke for you. Okay, go ahead. What's your name, hey. caller? Uh, they call me Otis. Otis. Hey, Otis. Yeah. This is Paul. How Good. How you doing, man? Good. Good. Okay, why do women wear makeup and perfume? Why? Because they're ugly and they smell bad. Because they're ugly and they smell bad. That that's good. That's a good that's a good scary joke. Hey Otis. Yeah. What are you up to tonight? Any big Halloween plans? No, I'm playing uh Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell and I'm watching uh Talking Funny with Paul. You're watching what? Talking Funny with Paul. Right, that's me. Yeah. I was trying to think of a different show, but then I realized you were talking about it. that's great. Thanks, yeah. Otis. Thanks a lot, man. Sure. Thanks for tuning in. Have fun playing Splinter Cell with Tom Clancy. Thank you. All right. See you later. All right, callers, 312-738-1060. Go ahead, caller, you're on, on the air. Hello, I made the zombie sound. What's your zombie sound? No, no, I'm not going to do it. That's a pretty scary zombie sound. Uh, I want to say that I like Paul. He's just as good as Dr. Mayo. Thanks a lot. It sounds like you're being surrounded by a... a her, surrounded... Sur hello, hello, hello. hello. Are you okay? Hello, um, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Um, are you as... Excuse her. Uh, she's, uh, she's not supposed to be let out of her cage. Um, is that a... I'm sorry? Is that what? Is there an animal in the room? Is that... What is that? Um, yeah. We, we, we are animals in this yeah. room. Yeah, yeah, I want to see... We, uh, What's we that person apologize. saying back there? Put that person on the phone. Who is... Oh, you like to speak to who is that crazy person? One moment, please. Who is that? I want the Rooska, fool. Put the dog on the phone. Put the dog on immediately. Put the dog on the phone. Come here. 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 Heel. Come here. Ruff. Here. I don't know what was happening in that house. It sounded pretty scary. That was the closest sound to a zombie sound we've heard tonight. It was it was a barking, eating dog. Go ahead, caller. You're on the air with Paul on yeah, Talking Funny. I was going to wait a year, but I, after that third phone call back, I couldn't put it off. I Sweet. Oh, you're going to tell us the I rest of the story? I, I recognized that woman's maniacal laughter anywhere. We got back with the beers. And caller, what's what? your name? I can't say on the air. Okay, can you I recap the story for yeah. us? Recap the story. Okay, we were at Bachelor's Grove. We're Bachelor's drinking, Grove, we were drinking. Right. right. Yeah, so, okay. So this couple that were kind of hot to try, a couple we left them behind, they didn't want to go with us, so we went and got the beers. All right. So anyhow, I wasn't going to tell you anything until a year, but now that I heard that maniacal after that I would recognize after all these years. That okay. was pretty bad. Pretty bad. Oh, terrible. This is terrible. So uh, we got back the beers and went down, and there was my buddy, and he was dismembered, and that same girl that you just heard laughing was just there laughing and laughing, and it was an unincorporated area. We couldn't find the cops, so, you know, we decided, hey, you know, what the heck, you know, buddies come, buddies go, so, you know, we figured, why rat her out, so that's about it. That's, a, that's it. That's a pretty scary story. Yeah, scary stuff. So your friend dismembered. Yeah. I, mean, I know this guy in this, this uh, call and show that he, he watched his father murder his mother. Really? I think. That's terrible. That, that's really awful. Well, well, you pair that against somebody being dismembered. I mean... How do you handle that? It's not easy. It's not easy, is it? Is it easy? It's never easy. It's never easy. What did you do with the body? Well, you know, the, the, we just left it there. I figured the unincorporated uh, area, you know, the... Uh, I imagine at some point in time, some people wandering around probably found a body and contacted somebody. Uh, the man... The... Man. the the what? What? The what? Well, that was the rest of that story, and, and I have to be honest, I'm, I'm glad we didn't have to wait a year for that, because it definitely wasn't worth a year. They just found a body. It didn't jump up or try and attack them or, or anything like that. It was just a body. Go ahead, caller. You're on the air with Paul and Paul. Yeah, uh, I think that was a ghost. I think a ghost just called us. Ghost, if that was you, call us back. Go ahead, caller. You're on Talking Funny with Paul. I eat your mind. 
Whoa, are you a zombie? Whoa. 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 Are you... Are you... Whoa. 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 That was a zombie. A zombie just called us. That was pretty scary. But that zombie didn't make the sound... That zombie didn't make the sound of eating brains. And the sound we're looking for is brains being eaten by a zombie. Go ahead, caller. You're on Talking Funny with Paul. Hey, hey, caller. Hello? Hey, what's your name? My name's Donna. Hey, Donna, how's it going? What, what are you up to I, tonight? I, I don't know. I'm kind of confused. Like, what are you up to? I'm doing this show called Talking Funny. Normally, right. Sasha and the noob are here, but I'm just Paul. I'm just here hosting the show. So, like, what, what does Paul do? I host this show sometimes when Sasha and the noob aren't here. How about you, Donna? I don't know. Wait, what kind of sound do you want to hear? I want to hear the sound that a zombie makes when it eats human brains. All right, hold on. I got... Wait, do you have a zombie with you? Yeah. Run! Totally Get out! He's I'm not. just kidding. Cool. He's okay. still. He's still. You're cool. Yeah, we're cool. Okay. He's still? <laughs> That sounded like you were gargling. That sounds like gargling. That sounds like toothpaste gargling after you brush your teeth. Zombie? Okay, that was pretty scary laughter and a zombie brushing his teeth. Not the sound we're looking for. I can't believe it's that hard to find a zombie eating brains. That's like all they do. They only eat brains, so if you can make the sound of a zombie eating brains, give me a call, 312-738-1060. Go ahead, caller, you're on Talking Funny. Hello? Hey, how's it going? What's your name? Hey, um, I dare you eat that Reese's Cup. Uh, only if you make the sound of a zombie yeah, eating brains. Hold on. Hey, okay. Kevin, what's up? What's up? It's your sister. What's up? That was the sound of hip-hop. That wasn't the sound of a zombie eating brains. I want the sound of a zombie eating brains, and I will eat this Reese's cup and swell up. Go ahead, caller. You're on talking funny. Yes, this is the yes, this is the ghost again. Hey, what's up, ghost? How you doing? I'm scared. You're scared? Whoa, it's a bad All night. Right. <laughs> yes. So what are you scared I of, ghost? Can, uh, I'm scared of Halloween people. Scared of Halloween people? Yeah, that, that's... Which Halloween people were yeah, those? Yeah, they all fucking brains. They're eating brains? What? The ones on the north You have the, the sheets over your mouth. I can't... That... No, that's the way I uh, Okay, that was a ghost, and I guess in the afterlife, it's... just a bad connection? I'm not sure what that was. Anyway, go ahead, caller. You're on Talking Funny. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Good. What's your name? Uh, my name's Terrence. First time hey, Terrence. caller, long time listener. Great. Do you uh, watch too or just listen? Uh, I, I'd like to do both at the same Great. time. Great. Um, I am a zombie and I feel like tonight in particular we're, we're uh, our lifestyle is being misrepresented. I, I think you, that uh, at the, at the moment I'm uh, hearing a little bit of insensitivity coming from you. From me? Well, yeah, from, from your network here. Oh, it's not your network, is it? It's not my network. No, I just no. host this show sometimes. Okay, well, it's, it's your half hour, and um, I, I, know, I mean, we're not all uh, crazy guys running around uh, making weird noise while we eat brains. I mean, it, it kind of sounds like what, you know, it sounds like when you eat uh, a burger. Well, all you have to do then, Terrence, is eat a brain and put it to the phone while you're doing it, and I will eat this Reese's cup and swell Two seconds. it. seconds. Hang on one second. Hey, Cl would you have, hand me the, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 thank you. All right, here we go. Not am I growling? I'm not mad, but I mean, I mean, I guess I could camp it up if you want me to. Mm. No, you, you just just be real, just be natural. Okay, want to try it again? Hang sure, on. go ahead. Okay, here we go. That sounds like eating. Is that, have I fulfilled this end of the bargain? I think you have, Terrence. I think that was a pretty realistic depiction of uh, brains being eaten. Uh, so I'll go. Go ahead and eat this uh, Reese's cup. Let's do it at the same time. 
Okay, that's a good deal. Wait a second. I don't want you to get you're not gonna get real sick, are you? I don't know. I'm allergic to peanut butter. I haven't had it since I was like five. This is not a good idea. Well, it's Halloween. So we should make why well, let's make ourselves sick. Okay. Ten. All right. Ready? You're gonna count it down? When yeah, let's go. Alright, five, uh, four, three, two, one. Wait, 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 wait. Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah, I'm positive. I had it in my mouth. All right, I'm sorry. Let's start over. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. We're eating brains in a Reese's cup. Fair enough. Okay. How are the brains, Terrence? Uh, my fine. How's uh, the peanut butter? It's it's good. It tastes real good. You still look okay. You can't see yourself, probably. I don't know, do you have a monitor? I, I do, but I... I it, I'm not swelling up yet. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. How long is it, it going to take? Like a while? I don't know. I haven't had peanut butter since I was five. Oh, my God. It was instant then, but I was oh little. Oh, my God. Hey, listen, Terrence. i got to get going to another caller, so thanks for calling, man. It's great to hear from a real-life zombie. Yeah, take it easy. All right, Terrence. Take it easy. Be safe. Bye-bye. Go ahead, caller. You're on Talking Funny. Hello. Hey, how's it going? What's your name? Sarah. Hey, Sarah. What you doing? I'm just chilling and watching the TV. Chilling and watching TV. Sweet. Are you Romanian? My friend wants to know. Am I Romanian? Yeah. No. I'm I'm Dutch and German. I told you. <laughs> In your face, friend! In your face! Okay. Hey, give us a call. 312-738-1060. We have a special guest that's going to join us right now. Um, it's a special Halloween guest. And it's Cyborg Myself. I am a cyborg. I am from a special computer world. I'm a cyborg. I don't I don't think you were really a, a cyborg, cyborg myself. I think you were just me with glasses and a, a colander on your head. Is is that is that the case or are you really a cyborg? I am a cyborg with a dangerous, dangerous weapon. Do not make me angry or I will fire my weapon at you. Okay, it looks like a dart gun with a spongy dart. So I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm not real afraid of, of you, cyborg myself. You're not, I mean, you're just me dressed up in a kitchen thing in your regular sunglasses that you wear every day. You have made me angry. I will now shoot you. Great, so you're going to shoot me. That's great. That's hilarious. Okay, great. That was uh, our special guest tonight, Cyborg Myself, on uh, our Halloween show here in Talking Funny. And, and really, that wasn't that funny. It was kind of, it was kind of lame. It was kind of a dumb thing. Only got a few minutes left. 312-738-1060. Go ahead, caller. You're on Talking Funny. Hey, how you doing? Hey, good. What's your name? Uh, this is Lewis. Hey, Lewis. What you up to tonight? Um, nothing much. I just want to say that uh, you're doing a really great job tonight filling in for Sasha and the Noob. And, Thanks. Uh, and I, I really appreciate you being here and uh, replacing sure. them. Because I, yeah, no problem. I was really looking forward to seeing them, but you're definitely uh, living up to the you know, Sasha and the Noob expectations. Thanks. I awesome, and, Lewis. And, and also, I, I have a story I'd like to tell. Hurry up. Um, the story deals with, uh, a question. Um, is this going to be posted on YouTube? No, but it will be posted on www.talkingfunny.com and you can watch the podcast. Okay, thanks a lot. Okay, bye. Weird. Well, that was Lewis. Hey, listen, we've got 15 seconds left on Talking Funny. Let me get one more call in. Go ahead, caller. Hi, this is Frederico. Hey, Frederico, bye. We have to go now. Talking Funny Halloween Show. I've been your host, Paul. Sasha, and then we'll be back next week. Bye.